to Starbucks Pod, and I am your host, Colin. This is our co beautiful co host, Abby, and we're back home for spring or winter break. Or I know you guys are wondering where the fuck they've been. It's been two weeks, it's been we've been uh, gone for longer, but but um, so we've been so cooped up with school, um, like everything's been like. Dramatic in this second part of the season, second part of the session semester? of no, second part of the session yeah. of school of our junior year. So it's been very chaotic, but um, we're back and this week we're gonna upload this. We're gonna do 15 minutes today, hopefully. We're gonna crank off 15 minutes and then we're gonna upload another one maybe tomorrow or maybe do three podcasts. We'll see, but um, we'll see. we're um, coming light and fast each week. We and promise. we're back. With the boxers, I know they're probably like a little cut off. Probably, I can see it kind of. Yeah, they're kind of cut off. But yeah. Um, but this is Cash. I think mm -hmm. it's C. And then this is Brady. And then we got the mascot. The mascot. Now. They just got. They just got too. groomed for you guys. So mm -hmm. make sure you um like the video. Yeah, her. like and subscribe. Yep. Show some love. Um. Yeah. What the? F but like, I want to first. Each other. Look, I want to first. Start oh, get you. Um. Sorry to cut you off, but I was just gonna say like. For people confused, our school, we get out in April, so our spring break is like late February to early March, because a lot of people have spring break to like almost April, so yeah. that we are early, so it is considered spring break, but I call it winter break because I'm like, it's not even spring yet, although we're here in Michigan yesterday was 72 and sunny, and today it's 25 with snow, so I don't know why, like our state's weather is so bipolar, so yeah. It just sucks. I'm just really happy that... Shorts one day, jackets the next. Exactly. Okay, I'm done. But look, I'm just happy that, like, this semester has been so hectic and, like... Yeah, it's flying like, by Oh, my now. gosh. Like, work, um, freaking school, studying every day. It's been crazy. You guys see this? Look at this button. Look at this button. Oh, there's You're a... Right many, oh, sorry. But anyway, it's been so crazy. So, like, with the podcast, like, I, like it feels like we've been selfish, but I'm it's been for a good cause. But we are going to take care of you guys really soon. We promise. But I want to first start off with um, talking about how I got the biggest job ever that that came that it's yeah tell them about to that. me. So coming to this um, to live on campus or just coming to Oakland University to um, college we're at right now. So yeah, which is kind of weird, but uh, it's expensive and um, housing. And it, like she's been saying over housing and over again, is so housing is the most expensive thing when it comes to college. That's how they make their money, that's how though. They, that's how they make their money. So, okay, back to what I was saying. Well, anyway, when I got there, I was like, I really want to come here next year. And then for my job part, I want to work the job I have next year. And without, like, living at home, I can't work. Like, I'm not about to drive 30 minutes. Yeah, and I know you guys like, like commuting is yeah, crazy. Commu yeah, commu 30 minutes is not that bad. But, like, mm. it's just a different vibe when you're walking out. Your dorm it's less room it's definitely less motivating because yeah, it's, last year, um my sophomore year, I did not live on campus. I commuted and I had class five days a week and I have an older car. Mm -hmm. So I mean it's and that's when gas prices were like at five dollars. If you guys remember that, if you know yeah. you know. In Michigan. Yeah, it yep, was crazy. Right there, so somewhere. gas was at that all time high. Um it's just a bunch of wear and tear on your car. Exactly. And it, it's tiring. Like for me, it's about a 45-minute ride to my school. So, I mean, back and forth, plus That's traffic. Crazy. It was like an hour and a half just in driving, plus mm -hmm. homework, mm -hmm. plus gym. Exactly. Like, it was just so exhausting. And so I know some people do it for work every day, and I give them so much credit because me, like, driving just tires me out. So I totally get that. It just mm -hmm. makes you less motivated to yeah. go to class. Like, yeah. oh, my gosh, do I really want to drive? Especially in shitty weather conditions, and they don't cancel class. Mm -hmm. Sorry to interrupt you, but quick question. Would you one group of people? Exactly. Like, I like the diversity in it because mm -hmm. you never know what you're gonna face. And exactly. that's just reality of the world. And that's uh -huh. a really good thing about people oops, sorry, not necessarily being an RA, but just living on campus. You or even like going to work. You work with people that are different from you and that's uh -huh. what makes society so great. Exactly. And one more thing, sidetrack, and I promise I'm done cutting you off. Yeah. But I are you um, Okay, are you sorry? I'm I know, but it's it's actually making a cliffhanger, so maybe it'll stay. Uh, never know. Okay, but anyway, so um, it's about the sound quality. We're just I'm just telling them that we don't got mics. I know the mics were kind yeah. of iffy, mm -hmm. um, like they sound muffled. But mm -hmm. our air, my AirPods wouldn't connect to the camera. Okay, just okay, so, talk about what you're saying. So that's all. That's all I was fucking gonna say. You don't gotta cut me off like that. Damn. Oh, but, oh, you were talking about that. Oh, my, I thought you were talking about something else. But look, I wanna, I'm literally just I, telling I, them that. I want to continue. Okay, so look, 
you're perfectly right. Like, it's a good job, but like, I, I, I want to tell them how hard it was. Like, I want to tell them, how, look, so the process was, so you get an interview, right? You hear back from the interview. You either got to, like, when an interview usually goes is one or two directions. You got the job and you're moving on to the next step. So with me, it was like, oh, bam, you moving on to, you, it wasn't like you moved on to the next round. It was, it was a part where, oh, you, you did, you did good. Now, you, this is this process. And I was like, did I get the job or am I moving on to the second round? But I guess I moved, I guess it was moving on to the second round. So what this process is, then I had to compete with, so for the, I don't know how many RAs were being hired because there was other RAs in the room. And I don't know if there was other RAs. Oh, wow. Okay. Do you want, you want to show the door? Go ahead. Keep talking. But it was like other, it was, it's just other RAs. It's just, like being qualified, they are more qualified than me. They already have the job, so if that makes sense. Wait, do you mean but, like previous RAs? Yeah, previous RAs. So and plus the ones that probably already had experience, you know, from others. You never know. So I had to compete with them, so it was just so scary. It was like I want to say maybe twelve or thirteen other people, probably more. I'm just estimating. So I had to be literally like I said before, P's. I had to be on my P's and Q's. So I stuck it out, and one week later. I got the job, so I was so happy. I was dope. I was like, yes, because I free housing. I get to go back to my job. I get to complete my my degree living on campus. Like it's amazing. So and living on campus is so worth it. Like I know it's sometimes a financial I'm burden, sure. but it's sure. go ahead, sorry. Oh, but it's especially if you have like a toxic household where you can't focus on school since, since that's a priority. Like living on campus is just so much. You get your independent like. I mean, yes, it's expensive, like I said many times, but I just mean, like, if you can do it, I think it's a good experience. Because it's not all about partying. Like, sometimes you just need to get away from your family, and yeah. you will thrive. It's really, um, like... It also depends on who you're li living with. Like, my true. freshman year, I was not close with my roommates, and I was home more than I was Let at you know. school. Let the mascot... She, she isn't getting paid for yeah, this. Yeah, the mascot, she's part of it, so, you know, she has Let's to be pay. here. Y'all want to see how she's paid. She's on payroll. Yeah, but it's been it's been well. I'm I'm glad like we got to make this podcast because we've been kind of denying denying it and like oh we've been so busy. But like we've been procrastinating <clears throat> because of school. Yeah, it and shows the reality of college life. And th and thank you guys for four hundred and fifty thousand views. <laughs> half of a million. I have half a million views. Wow. Almost. I'm basically like a. I want to say so. Six hundred is like a quarter to a thousand. Wow. Basically. Like, like, I'm basically a quarter to a thousand fall, I mean, subscribers. Because it's not half. Because that's like a half. Like, I don't want to say a half, but like quarter and a... A quarter and a half, basically, to a thousand fall, subscribers. 600 is? Yeah. I, I'm at 600 right now. I'm at like six, 650 something. You don't so, need to edit that out. Why? Uh, um, Bailey, that's more than half. That's not a quarter. Really? Two... I, you know what? Never mind. You, you know, I, I try to. You know, I, I was trying guessing, but damn, because it's not a half. Because half is basically five hundred. I'm past five hundred. So how would you be a quarter? Because what's more? Okay, let me ask you this. What's what's bigger, half or a quarter? Half. So why would you be a quarter if you're past the half? A quarter is basically like twenty five percent. I meant like I'm a quarter to a thousand. So three quarters. Three quarters. Three. Qu Quarter and a half, yeah. Quarter and a half. Alright, tell me. Anyway, well, congratulations. Yeah, be on my game. I'm gonna keep that in because you never know. Anyway, um, yeah, but I mean, I'm proud of you, but we yeah, but what I meant. We tried. I had Sam and I had. Okay, I had okay, no, 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 we're not talking about that. Stop. Like, we're not like talking about that. Stop. Yeah, it tastes like maybe. Gosh, it's almost like if salmon was a fish. Though. Okay, three quarters, but who says it like that? People either say I have. A quarter. What I meant by like a quarter away, because <laughs> if I'm so that would be like two oh, okay, yeah. subscribers. That's what I was thinking. You're right. You're right. You uh, that, two fit. No, but I'm like when you said that, I was like, I was oh, like, okay, where, my you, fault, I was my like where are you getting these? From? But I'm at six. Look, we're at six hundred. Right we're at six, like six, six basically six sixty, basically. Subs. Yeah. You went up one hundred fifty. Yeah, we've been blown up. And anyway, for the people that watch <laughs> our workout videos. Or I should say his workout videos because that's his channel, Karina. She's on. Um, she 
Yeah, I do steal the views, but what can I say? Um, no, I'm kidding. If you watch his workout videos and um and our podcast, thank you Thanks. for the support. You're, you're you're paying the bills. You're keeping these lights on. Oh wait, not yet monetized yet, but we're soon. probably about to get interrupted. Soon, so soon we are. But um. Anyway, so yeah, um, keep it up. Keep supporting my man because he's doing great things and he's trying to bring awareness to working out. Um and. God damn, my nails. Yeah, are they grew. I yeah, used to be nail biter. Yeah. Ever since I ripped mine off, like, they grow my fast off. Oh, anyway, see, this is what happens when we don't write down our topics. We're getting, it's like, just good, it's good. They like distracted. Stuff. They like, okay, um, you know what? That's fine. It doesn't topic. sound, it's oh, yeah. off the script, you know? Yeah. Um. So, anyway, um, well, what was I talking about? Um. Nail. See? I think nails. No, but... that's when you interrupted me. <laughs> Um, I was something I was trying to support you, but you know what? If you want to, no, you're like talking that, about supporting my channel. You're saying supporting my channel, but th uh, thanks. No, Whoa. see, I wasn't done. But if you want, oh, if you want me to be done, I will be. No, I was, I was gonna talk about something like really boring. Oh, no, um, it's fine. You always shut me down. Oh, I don't shush. But anyway, I want to talk about how. I'm just kidding. Like, like okay, so we're basically almost done. We're basically almost done with school. It's about to be finals. How are like oh my school? God. How is how is school? You're so jumpy today. Look, how is school going for you? Really? Why you say not good? Hey, I don't school. even know what you asked. How is school going for you? Oh, um, okay. That's all I'm gonna say. What I mean by okay is just like the semester's been really hard on me. Yeah. Um, I have class every day, five days a week, and um, I mean, granted, my classes aren't super long, but it's like it's just eating and then doing homework, and then going to the gym. It's not impossible. It's just so. It's so much like work on you, like wear and tear on your body and your mind. It just sucks. It's like my mind's tired. Yeah. My body. That's look. That's how I felt like with mine, cause like I have to study every day, but I'm like, like as I look at the dorm, yeah. I'm losing that as motivation, cause it's so that's fun. That's a good point. Oh not my god. Not, it's up. not even that. It's also, it goes by too fast. It goes by too fast. Like, but I mean, it's, it's it's half it's happy that it's going by fast. And it's like, you know, you want the stress of school to be over with. But at the same time, it's like, I'm going to miss my dorm. Like, I love my home here. I love my room. But just being independent, decorating the way you want, being social. Like, it's so fun. I lo and I'm proud of us because some people, they just sit in their room, don't do anything. We've been, like, interacted, walked around campus, went to events. I'm really proud of us. Yeah. And I'm shy, too. Like, I have social anxiety. And I love being social, Shame. but at the same time, like, I'm shy, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like, I love doing things, but sometimes my anxiety stops me from doing that. So I feel like living on campus definitely yeah. pushed me to. Because, you know, it's not that it's being popular and having a tons of fun. It's just experiencing these things. Because these are the memories that last. The people you meet in college are the people that stick with you. You know, like, high school people. True. Like, high school, middle school, elementary. I'm Yeah, I miss those friends, but they come and go through a lifetime. You know, and I'm happy that I love my roommates, like... Yeah, good roommates. Because I, so. I, like I said, I don't think I finished the story. Basically, long story short, my freshman year, I was, wasn't close with my roommates, so I didn't have a good experience living on campus. But here, I love it. My room's better. Mm -hmm. um, it's smaller, but it's cuter. I just, I love my roommates. I got Chanel with me. Yeah, and then roommate. him, too, you know. God! Anyway, what's up with that? Like, first time roommates, like, with the movie we watched, um, and just other TV shows, and just your roommates, like, not first time, but like freshmen, like, it's moving in. It's always a bad experience. It's always a bad experience. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't know why. Like, maybe it's the adjustment, because I know getting used to it, that it's. And plus, I came from the pandemic. You know, that sounds weird. But what I mean is, like, I literally. I was online, and then here I am in person moving out in a different environment after being like online for a year which is i don't think i was ready though you know i definitely love it though but yeah, we I, up. I did love it but it just i didn't really like my roommates and i feel like they kind of ruined the experience for me and they yeah. could have said the same about me and that's fine but ain't gonna lie she didn't do anything 100 percent and i ain't being biased well, thanks, man. i have really i have good self-awareness like like Say you're watching this right now, I can probably see you and hear you watching. So, so worse. Yeah. Anyway, um, whoa, that went by really fast. Like, what the heck? It's like we just started. Literally, it always does. Like literally. I don't realize we talk that much, but yeah. um, 
And by the way, I just want to dis- I just want to disclaim this. Like, what the? F- I went that way too fast. I feel like I'm very sarcastic on this, <laughs> and people probably think I'm a bitch to him, but I'm I'm not. It's no, just, we're joking. No, like, tell me, this is Lily. This is like like if no, you, like, like if we do end up like going like skyrocket. Oh, this is all content. Like whatever we say. Like so, give okay. Let's leave off with like a pop, like pop, like a piece of advice. Like okay. you faced the interview, you got a job you wanted. What is something you want to tell, share with them that might help them? People are going through similar situations. So look, so what like I maybe they have a job yeah. coming up, they're scared for. You so know? what I did was like what you, helped you. So ain't gonna lie to you, this is hard, but this is for like my sport. You know what? I'm, it's for everybody. So with me, I watch football. I watch hey, basketball. Mascot. I was in the first half, like the, I was in the first half, my, my, like my interview with that, my second process interview. And I was like the first half, it, I went, I went so bad. I was like, second half, you got to crank it up, got to crank it up. So second half, I turned it up a notch and I went to like being unconfident to being confident, asking questions, answering questions. So you just got so be, to just be yourself. Notice, you. notice, be noticeable and just spread awareness and confidence in your confidence and then stick out stick like, out yeah how about you my advice well what's your advice like my like interviews or like in general like how about what? how about advice being successful off of being trying to like say you have an interview and you're overwhelmed what would you share some advice this can be anything um, well so, like if you have bad anxiety which is normal to feel especially at an interview i think the best advice is um, you know what, just be honest. What I mean by that is kind of like what you said, be yourself. Like, cause the reason why I get anxiety at interviews is cause you don't know how the people are yeah. and what they're going to ask. Like, it's like taking a pop quiz, uh-huh. you know, like if it's a pop quiz, of course you're going to have anxiety. You'd, you'd have no time to prepare. Yeah. Um, so basically but, prepare yourself. Say so you. Well, no, you can't really prepare yourself cause you don't know what they're going to ask. I mean, after you interview, we, they oh, always sure. ask, like, similar questions, yeah. but you don't want to sound Damn. like it was scripted. You know, that's what I mean, like, be honest and be yourself. Don't make, sometimes saying less is mm-hmm. more, if that makes sense. Like, you don't have to go on and list 20, like, if they're like, like, what did you, like, tell me about yourself. You don't have to freaking say, like, five paragraphs. Yeah, you can literally just be, like, short and sweet, and sometimes that's, that's all, like, sometimes less is more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, just be honest, you know, you don't have to make yourself sound super impressive, I mean, if that makes sense, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, sometimes if you say too much, it sounds like it's too good to be true or you're lying. You know, so just be honest and be yourself. Type like, shit. be the person that you would want to hire. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Well, yeah, I'm just, ain't going to lie to you. I think that, that went by way too fast. I ain't going to lie. Uh, but <laughs> really? um, we're going to end off here. Um, nuts for life. <laughs> Thanks for life, guys. <laughs> anyway, um, we're gonna leave it off. Where did there. that come from? Yeah, um, you guys have a good one. Hopefully, you guys can hear me because I know I talk a lot. Hope it's not a quiet. Hope I'm, I'm praying you. Hope it's not a quiet podcast. This is actually a good podcast. We're gonna talk to you later. Mask it out. See ya.